Hey YouTubers, it's Ed Munson on Backhoe 41 called Oasis. Today we're going to talk just a little bit about uh, the freshwater system on this boat. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with it, it might be helpful uh, to kind of go through some of the simple things. First of all, the Backhoe 41 holds, I believe, about 180 gallons of water. They're what are known as saddle tanks, so there's one on this side the port and one on the starboard. They are self-leveling, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. But the water comes out of this um, blue line at the bottom of the tank, you can see there. And there's the shutoff valve so that uh, you can, if you need to do some repair on this line anywhere in, in downstream of it, you can cut the water off. From there, it tees um, to this T here, uh, and then a flexible tube comes around to this side and goes through the water pump. A small screen here filter will get uh, some of the large things. And in my particular case, uh, I, I had an accumulator tank. This keeps air pressure in, into the system so that you don't get kind of that hammering noise when you use water, but also it helps with um, just keeping the, uh, keeping the pressure on so that it can flow quickly and easily through the system. This is the primary filter for the water. Uh, we, it uses a Pentex. In another video, we'll talk about how to replace that. It's a pretty simple operation. If you follow, of course, the blue uh, lines are all the cold water lines and the hot, uh, red ones are hot. You can see there's another cutoff here. This one goes to my ice maker, so it allows me to cut off and isolate just the ice maker from the system. And you can see the, the cool water goes into the water heater. This is the water heater here, and then the hot water comes out. There's a T back here where the hot and cold together supply to all of the spigots on the boat, so in your galley, in your um, heads, and also I have a shower in the back stern. I do not have a fresh water uh, wash down. Uh, I have a raw water wash down. This blue tube then, uh, which connects, you can see back to where we were with the shutoff, uh, connects all the way over to the other tank. And this is what they call self-leveling tanks. So if you have more water on one side than the other, the tanks will feed one side to the other until both tanks have the exact same amount of water. There's also an additional T-valve here that allows you to get the last little bit of water out of the tanks if you're, uh, say, doing your winterization. You cut that on and it'll get the last little bit out uh, into um, drains into the bilge and then you can pump it overboard. Pretty simple uh, system and it's, um, one that uh, you need to take care of and it'll take care of you. We do drink water directly out of the tanks. We use uh, a water sweetener that's got a little bit of um, bleach in it and the tanks were very clean when we got the boat. We do not use the pressurized system that uses city water, which is out here in the cockpit I'll show to you. We don't use that because what we'd like to do is use as much water as possible so that uh, we're constantly running water through the tanks and therefore keeping them clean. But a lot of people do use uh, city water if they're in a marina. And that city water connection is out here uh, in the cockpit. This is the shower I told you about. The shower is no different from the hot and cold at the, in the galley. So it's a pretty simple operation. Um, but this is where you would bring your city water in and you'd simply unscrew that and uh, you could put your water hose from the from the marina system into that. So you say, well, do I leave my pump on when I'm using city water? And the answer is no. Uh, the water pump doesn't do anything and won't run because there's a check valve in here that's that realizes, oh, I've got city water and the pressure from the city water will um, run through your shower your heads, your um, your your um, sinks, and so on. So uh, uh, the the other reason you would not want to use this if you're going to be away from the boat, you certainly want to make sure that you've got the water cut off because 
city water is notoriously fluctuating uh, water pressure and too much water pressure in the boat uh, might create a leak and if you think about that that would be a very bad thing because it would be an unending supply of water into the bilge of your boat and uh, that could be disastrous for you so if you are going to use the city water hookup with the check valve in it then i recommend that you uh, cut the water off every time you get off the boat so it doesn't um, have an accident like that this is the uh, raw water uh, wash down uh, that seawater that i can clean the deck with and that sort of thing hope this helps